The field of cognitive bias is relatively new, about the last 30 years, and uh, the, the prime mover uh, is a psychologist named Daniel Kahneman. Kahneman has written two books, two major books, and many, many articles. Uh, the, the first book is called Judgment Under Uncertainty. It was published in the 80s. It's very technical. Uh, if, you're, if you're quite ambitious and you'd like to really dig into it, that would be the book to start with. Uh, the second book is more recent. It was published only a few years ago. It's called Thinking Fast and Slow. So I'd like to give a couple of examples that Kahneman uses to illustrate what is intended by cognitive bias, and then I'd like to apply this learning to safe decision-making in particular. So I'm going to ask you a question, and I'd like you to consider the question carefully and then answer it in your own mind. Steve is very shy and withdrawn invariably helpful, but with little interest in people or in the world of reality. A meek and tidy soul, he has a need for order and structure and a passion for detail. Is it more likely that Steve is a farmer or a librarian? So now think about how you answered that question. What went through your mind in the process of making that decision? So you heard the description of Steve, and you were asked a very specific question. What went on in your mind when you went to answer that question? What did you refer to mentally? For most of us, we think that a person who is shy and withdrawn and not interested in the real world is someone who might well fit into the job of being a librarian, more so, for example, than a farmer. So we thought the personality characteristics that were described that Steve has seem to fit a librarian more closely than a farmer. That would be a mistake. What we overlooked is the baseline rate of farmers to librarians that are male in the United States. And in fact, that baseline rate is 20 to 1. Now, do you see the pattern between these two examples? The first one be with driving, where the, the cognitive bias was to not take the data into account. And again, here, it's the same idea. The mental process of, under, of coming to a decision, coming to a conclusion about that, went to the personality characteristics rather than to the data. So it was the same kind of mistake, and many of you made it twice. I certainly did. It, the common person makes that mistake twice. So there are two things I want you to learn from that. One is it's a really easy mistake to make. I mean, you can learn the lesson and then be asked the same question and miss it the second time. So second, it's really important because your estimate is going to be off if you don't take the baseline into account. You're going to be wrong. 